I was lord of this place before the crows and rats made it their domain. Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Darkest Dungeon. We've got the Miserable Dark going on, so stress relief are less effective this week. That's fine. Nobody's too terribly stressed at the moment. Uh, Breuse could probably use some relief. Perfectionist. So she doesn't have any um, oh, specific places that she needs to go. Let's drop her into the most effective one. That ought to fix her up. So we got the stagecoach. I realize that they have a free DLC. The Musketeer, so I installed that last time. Unfortunately, I haven't seen the Musketeer implemented in the named parties. Uh, yeah, none of them have Musketeers in them. So I may forego hiring them, um, but I might I might hire one eventually. If we ever get one that's a uh, high level, I will probably hire them. So Tessel here is level 1 with level 2 gear and skills. So Chatwood can't be better. Weak Grip on Life, Flawed Release, Warren's Adventurer, Warren's Tactician, and Known Cheat. So yeah, I think uh, Tessel's the one that we're going to hang on to. So nothing good out of there. We've got some busts, some portraits as well. This requires deeds, clearly. Portraits. Okay, we already have the skill upgrades to rank 3. That's pretty good. We could make it cheaper. Would be nice. Uh, some improved stress relief would also be pretty nice. Increased stress recovery. We could do that for all of these. Uh, if we trade one... Or trade for one other portrait. Treatment cost. Disease treatment cost. Man, all of these are good though. Let's go for that. Experimental techniques and tonics can overcome things a sharpened sword cannot. Let's trade some deeds. I grab these and get that Curious reduced. Methodologies and apparatus can calm even the most tormented soul. We'll grab one more um, portrait there, and we'll go ahead and upgrade the tavern all the way. Strong or I mean, all three. A game of chance and companionship. Opening up the life. the extra slots next time will be pretty key. Uh, so yeah, that's used up all of our heirlooms, basically. Uh, it looks like the cove is one of the only places that we really can go. Which is a bit tragic. Um, plague is good to use here. So I'll look into that. Trying to get a party together that uh, has good plague abilities. I guess a shield... shield breaker? Is that what they're called? Yes. I keep wanting to call them uh, shield bearers for some reason. Yeah, shield breaker, uh, grave robber I think, plague doctor of course. Uh, but we'll see what I can throw together. I think the fish people are technically eldritch as well. I could be wrong. Alright, we've got the four horsemen here. I think we've played with this group before. Uh, but they are pretty good. They they do have uh, a bit of blight skills. Um, yeah, and she's set up okay with these. Flashing daggers we may replace with the poison darts here. 
Cure Blight is good. She's got Cure uh, Blight and Bleed. Emboldening Vapors is nice. Then, of course, he can shift and she can do damage. Uh, should be good. We'll see how it goes, though. Reduce stress will be great. Uh, bleed skill chance, not so much. Increased healing received might be a good idea because uh, we don't have a lot of heals. Some self heals. Let's go with that. And for him, that's for low torch. Got a speed stone. He's pretty fast already. Uh, what about a blight skill? Should be okay. Increased damage for melee, but it reduces his dodge. Reduced healing received. Increased dodge and move resist. That ought to be good. Uh, I thought we had some specials for Plague Doctors. I've probably died since then, so... That would explain that one. Let's go with these. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, yeah, damage versus blighted, and then an increase of two to speed. Pretty good combinations, I'd say. This is a short run as well, so we shouldn't need uh, too terribly much. Let's grab all the food. Uh, the cove, yeah, we'll need extra shovels, some anti-venom, some bandages, a couple of those. I didn't get torches yet. I can't remember if a stack of torches is enough for a short run or not. I feel like it must be because a medium run is usually a stack and a half. And this is everything except a little bit of holy water. I don't think we'll need holy water and I want to minimize uh, the expense of the trip. So I think we'll go with this. Fingers crossed that we don't run into the, uh, fanatic. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. Oh, man. In my vanilla playthrough, we started kind of in the middle of the dungeon as well. And we have to explore the rooms, so that's two, four, eight rooms. So we kind of need to go down this way. I'm always uh, hesitant to face hallway battles, especially because we're likely to run into the thing from the stars. She's wasting, so she probably ought to have some blood. He is craving. So if he has blood, uh, I think that puts him into bloodlust mode, which is not ideal. Uh, I should have checked all of their skills as well. Oh, now he's wasting. Um, yes, she does have the self-heal. His transformation, I believe, heals him. Yeah, for five. It just causes stress to some of the other guys. And then he does have his battlefield medicine equipped. And she has the toxin trickery, which is going to help her out. So we are all set. Um, actually, if she's back here, yeah, this, this lunge is correct. And then the poison darts. This says damage for blighted, so we could poison, lunge, shadow fade. All of that. We're pretty well set up, I would say. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. It's just a torch, buddy. We'll probably burn it. Okay, uh, the thing from the stars, we've beaten him before, so hopefully we can again if we face him. Alright, bit of blight. Oh, resisted, hey? Okay, let's try again. Resisted. I see how it's gonna be. Dodged. 
dodged. Well, I don't have any hopes uh, for this run any longer. I've gotten the worst rolls already. Gather the blood. That's fine from him. Man, really disgusting, I'd say. Annihilated. That felt good. Oh no, please don't. Man, look at the stress already on, on her. Please blight. Oh, they're very resistant to blight. I just realized I should have been stunning instead. Life hack. Use Albert. Oh, come on. They're really picking on the Plague Doctor there. Probably won't have much chance to use the buffs from that, but it should be fine. Uh, Increase to damage and speed. Let's give it to her, because she's already the damage dealer. Maybe she can one-shot this fool or something. Uh, a little bit of self-heals might not be a bad plan. Ah, all kinds of resistance. A seven. That's not terrible. Man, after playing with higher level characters in my vanilla playthrough, this feels, uh, really bad. He's only got a 50% resistance and it killed him outright. Nice dodge. Decimated. Oh, we're in poor shape already. Already. These two need healing badly. Okay, here's fish people. Yeah, their resistance to poison is minimal. Uh, the lunch, though, she can't reach very far with, so let's... Let's go for this guy. They're pretty bad. This guy also, but uh, we should be able to hit with this. Okay, a bit of stress. No dodge either, of course, because that would make things too easy on us. Tiny bit of healing. Very negligible. Yep. Still going after the Plague Doctor for whatever reason. Resisted, though. Uh, let's get rid of this guy if we can. Beautiful. Oh, he's dead on his next turn anyway, so I'm not even worried. I was going to lunge with her, but I may lunge at this guy instead. That's right. And another one falls. And another one bites the dust. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. Uh, let's see some more heals. I'd like a lot more heals than that, but it's just not possible. Bit of brine. Nice dodge. Uh, can we poison? We can indeed. Uh, go ahead and absolve again. Go ahead and heal yourself again. A two, that's better than a one. Uh, nope. You don't even need that. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Yeah, I'm absolutely certain we've used this combination before. I don't remember if it was in this uh, playthrough or the vanilla playthrough. But I'm positive that we have uh, used this combo. Alright, let's head back through. We can eat some food for a little bit of healing, but I always hesitate to do that whenever we're backtracking. Because it seems like uh, we get hunger checks more often if we're going through an area we've already explored. Yeah, 
There we go. I would have been surprised if it hadn't happened. Alright. Couple of empty rooms. Another mariner. Another misfortune. Oh, don't. Oh, man. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Kleptomaniac. Yeah, that's definitely one worth getting rid of. Did we make it cheaper to get rid of negative perks? I think we did. You would think that I could remember that since it was just Wealth at the very beginning of this episode. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. But that's not how my brain works. I forget things very easily. Okay, no scouting. Oh. Let's go for this guy. Three damage. Yeah, we should be able to bile them, and he should be dead on his turn now. Uh, keep trying to heal. I know it's not hardly worth it. I probably ought to just use food to heal her. Ouch. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Ouch again. Okay, a good lunge here. I ought to finish him. Let's just kill him. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. We're not in a terrible place and we have uh we have food. So we could we could actually heal up right now since we don't know what's ahead of us really. I think it's not a bad shout to uh get some food in. That'll do. Pig. Okay. Continue on, cautiously. Hey, don't tell me to shush. I tell you what to do, you heard? No scouting, huh? Aha! There we go. A little bit of extra blood for my blood gods. Ouch. Good dodge. Looking alright. Okay. This is a rough fight. I don't like these guys at all. Let's vomit on them. It's the best thing to do. Uh, a lunge right off the bat is actually pretty ideal. We could try to Iron Swan back here. It's a possibility that we kill him. Alternatively, we could attack this guy and try to get him down to three health. It didn't work. Uh, plague on this guy. Sounds good. Nice dodge. Yep. Ouch. That's quite about a lot of damage. Okay, he's dead on his next turn, though. Nice dodge. And a Shadow Fade. Nah, nah, can't see me. Yep, Chip Chop right there. Uh, another Bile. Their formation is broken. Maintain defensive. He's dead. Ouch. And he's hurting pretty bad. Give her a bit of extra oomph. A poison. This expedition at least promises success. Don't be so confident. You know what you say about overconfidence being slow and insidious. Promises success, he says.
Okay. Uh. Yeah. Let's go him. I almost misclicked on this guy. And we will... Will we bile? I feel like we need to absolve and we need to heal a little. Because he's in really poor shape. Six to twelve, eighty eight per cent chance. Nice, perfect. Come on, ouch. Dodge, nice, beautiful. Oh man, once again, grave rubber coming in clutch as the damage dealer. The surprise, um, surprise moves. One. It's so pitiful, her heals. Ouch. Two health left that he's got. Uh, we're not gonna bother with anything else. Just straight up murder him. precipitates a dizzying fall okay we could probably do with giving her some health whoa was not expecting that this will find no clemency in this place true minus 20 dodge and five speed for 12 rounds that's crazy uh, we really need to kill this guy as fast as possible. Minimum damage. At least he is blighted. Uh, let's try and kill this guy. Ouch. Not quite enough. Uh, Biles. Okay, I would love to see a good plague here. Got him. He's dead as well. It doesn't matter, buddy. He's dead. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. He still retains the extra protection for those those rounds though, which is not ideal. Let's go here. Resisted, eh? It's not very nice. Okay. Go for my healthiest character. I do not mind that at all. A time to perform beyond one's limits. I could have cured that uh that bleeding right away. Let's just go ahead with the damage. Nice critical. We need to tick him down as fast as possible. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Uh Yeah, nobody needs it now. Let's stack it on her. She's going to be doing 50% more damage almost. And she's probably going to go first. Ouch. At least she resisted the bleed. That's nice. All right. Finished him. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Yeah, we're not we're not taking a uh, journal page in place of an emerald. That's insane. If we push it, we might run into the thing from the stars down this hallway. Am I going to chance it? Composition of death. Look at this health, too. Oh, this is bad. 106.
I don't remember what he does either. He's got a lot of stress. Vorpal strike. We need to rearrange again though. Pretty severely. Ouch. So much damage. We can't afford this at all. I don't remember what this does. Unstable resonance and explosive undoing. Another abomination. It healed. From our lands. Man. Oh, come on. Oh, hang in there. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. I really need to do damage, though. Oh no. I really need to do damage. He's no longer blighted. It's only three to five. I don't think we can take it down. Nice. Oh, are you kidding me? Thank you so much. It's only three. Nice dodge. Thank you. It doesn't matter because anything that he hits her with is going to put her on death's door again. Beautiful dodge there. He's not taking damage every time. And that cures him when he does that. This was a bad plan. I, sh I should have left when I had the, uh, had the chance. Two to three only. Gross. I don't think the poison is really doing that much to him, though. It should be, but it's just not. Executed with impunity. Yeah, there he goes. Paralyze. Come on. Resist. Oh, why haven't I transformed with him yet? That's what I should have been doing this whole time. Pippin isn't having a very good uh, time. Ouch. He's down to 26. Injury and despondence. Set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Be gone, fiend. I'd love to use those attacks on him, but it's just not possible right now. Wow. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Yeah, just let it be Pippin's turn next. Nope. Save it in a jar? What are you talking about? Oh, she's so close to being stressed, too. I just don't know if it's a good idea to transform him. If we did and we do a rake, uh, then we don't need to kill this, but... Going to anyway. Nice. Weakening. Oh. As life ebbs, terrible 
vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. It's not his turn next. Why isn't it his turn? Ugh, why isn't it his turn next? He was only stunned one time. Ouch. Nice heal. And... Rage. It's only a 1 to 2. 1 to 1. 1 to 1. Chance to debuff. 110% for dodge and speed. Reducing his speed would be nice. The Rage does the most damage. That's what we really need. Nice. Now the Blight ought to finish him off. Come on. No, why didn't he... Why didn't he take Blight damage there? It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, he's dead. Oh. Oh. Man. I think that's how we'll go. Securio right up here. Torch. A handsome reward for a task well performed. What's your deal now? Craving, I see. We should leave. Oh come on. You dirty klepto. That's what you get. Nothing inside. Yeah, they probably do. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting there to be bad guys here. If I'm honest. Isn't that a buff of some kind? Yeah, damage, accuracy, crit. And we've got Blight all across the board. Seven damage, so he's dead on his next turn. Wow. That's a heck of a time for a crit, especially since they all get to go next. Uh, I really want to Iron Swan this guy. But I need to kill this guy. Thank you. Let's do us a lunge. Let's do us a... Yeah, we might as well. And... There we go. Dead. Wow. You're going to kill yourself? You, she literally said, I prescribe death, and then tried to kill herself when she was on death's door. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. You're just going right back. So she should have all sorts of increased damage now. Uh, we can't be spile him. We could transform, but she's so close to losing it. Four. Is it fifty-eight percent protection? Come on, nice dodge. That's what I'm always hoping for. 
Yeah, we're not toying with him. He's just really difficult to damage. Nice. There we go. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Nice. I think sometimes those can be trapped. the flow of otherworldly corruption. That's right. Man, we... Whew, that was close. We pushed through and we made it, but... We will find all manner of great and terrible things in this watery tomb. We made 5,000. I can't remember how much we invested in this... Uh, but I think it was a little bit more than that. I think we had 10,000 and we ended up with like 3,000 or something. So 5,000 back is not ideal, but it's it's better than less. We got a bunch of uh, crests from that too. She's got a disease, bulimic, prismatic, isolation, 25% debuff resist, one hero per roster. That must be from uh, the thing from the stars, ruins, phobe. Deviant Tastes. Ruins Tactician. Nice. Don't know how we got uh, Ruins quirks from fighting in the cove, but there you go. If you want to catch another episode, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.